Paco. Good morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hey, Peoy. How are you? Anyway, that's my that's kai. our that's our uh, greeting that we have here. My kai oko. We're all great. Yeah. We're all great. So, uh, you know what? Um, so I'll start, and um, normally we start with a chant. Yeah. And um, the chant is um, we do a he 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 ho mai, and we also uh, uh, do a. Um, Then we do a chant of, of how the holly is being built. And so maybe I can say a little bit about that. Um, the, the first chant is like, is a purification chant. And it's like a prayer to purify our day and, and, uh, and uh, we, face the, we face the ocean. The yeah. stand up, face the ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me open this. Uh, I lock it. I, I for uh, um, like I told Peter. I keep this down and I lock the bottom here, so that way it doesn't move around. And I and I chose bamboo because it's a natural, you know, it's a natural uh, 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 material. And and you get lowered and yeah, yeah. Lower, lift it and lower it up. It's easy to easy to get now these days. Actually, yeah, and it's. Kind of, it kind of blends in with the color, the co yeah. like the color scheme that, that we have going right now. Yeah. And then I lock it in place. And so you actually can, uh, um, depending on how you feel during the day, the, 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 the participant or the, the, yeah, the people can put it up or lowering it down. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then later on, I'll, I'll point out all the dip, um, how the, the difference between this holly and the other holly that I'm building and the improvements that I'm making. Blend it all in. This particular spot here actually is, is supposed to be most eastern spot of the island, and that's that's called a stone. So we, we stand up. Himo oya, himo na moi moi, na moi ino ino, na pu no uno u, na hau mea. Himo oya, himo na ele ele, himo oya, himo. Imo na moi ino ino na moi moi na pu no no na hau mea. Himo oya. Himo. Ele ele. That 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 blessing is just saying, okay. Please release all those bad spirits that are around us. Clean, cleanse us, and and, and provide us with uh, uh, um, a good thinking throughout the day. Now we do a he ho mai. Eho mai ika, ika mai luna mai, ona mea hono no iao, ono mali e, eho mai, eho mai, eho mai, eho mai ika, ika mai luna mai, ona mea hono no iao. Ona mali e, e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai ika, ika mai luna mai e, ona mea hono no iao, ona mali e, e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai. And that's asking the up above, Heavenly Fathers up above, to bring all the knowledge to us, bring it to us, bring it to me, bring it to me, bring it to me, <laughs> so that uh, it, uh, um, all the songs, <coughs> chants, melodies, and all that, all of that. And then the final chant we do, this is everything, <laughs> actually you do that yeah, um, before you start Hi. the game, is <coughs> one um, called... Uh, um, um, uh, is how the how the holly is being built, and so. Um, um, pa, hey, I'm a cool. 
na poi kui kui pale ku pono hale akala kasa mana mana ha he hu 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 kui e e ho e kana na po ha he hu ha he hu ha he hu ha he hu kui e ho o pa anala ao ha he hu ha he hu ha he hu ha he hu e ho o pa anala ao e ho o malo kahale ha he hu ha he hu ha he hu moko moko o pai kai no o liki ko no ka O bai kai no, o pi nani ko i no. Ua pao, ku pao. That was actually a short version of of what a, a chant that we we do. We do it a uh, lot more, but and you know, I, I um, it's more it's better to, when we do it all the time in the whole group. And it's actually you set the group up that that will be working with you, like how you doing? And this is called. Kahalui, the, you know, like like a little circle, and everybody does it does a chant yeah. together. But of course, you know, you can't you can't do the chant because you, you yeah, don't know it. it. But that's, <laughs> that's basic. That's basically a kind of a short short version of uh, of what we do. Interpret what you said. You okay. said. Okay. So what I said basically uh, is, we are the builders of of, of Hawaiian Holly, and we're going to show you the way of how to build a Holly. And the first step of building the holly is kananapo. Kanapo means um, we actually have to have a little stick here. That's right. Okay. Is that is that it? <coughs> is 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 a uh, uh, is like a o o stick. Uh -oh. And, and kananapo we are like pounding the post four four times one two one two three right and left. So yeah, the four corners. You put the four corners of the post in. Then the next step is that uh, we're picking up the rocks actually. Ha he hu ha he hu ha he hu ha he hu. Picking up the the, 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 the rocks to build the foundation, and then and and and, and then we um, and then we have to thatch uh, we have to thatch the the roof, and and uh, um, yeah, it's, the thatching is actually you know there's no I can't show you really thatching but. Uh, uh, um, the the movement is just. Ah, hey, ooh, ah, hey, ooh, but this ah, is like literally like Hawaiian was not a written language, so this is how they they passed on their traditions was like an oral, you know, an oral tradition plus they add the dance to it. Right, so, right. You know, yeah, yes. Illustrates it. It's more of a dance Hula, than yeah. anything else. Yeah. And then uh, 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 um, uh, uh, kahale is a two. Uh, uh, Malo kahale to like the uh, like like you caress the, the like the holly is going to be the one that's going to warm you at night uh, the, the final steps and then finally finally the the leader would which would me I then I asked what is the name and then you to introduce everybody everybody you, you, you my name is Lee K which is like uh, uh, Lee or Richard and and, and then I, I say oh. You should do it. Do it. Yeah. Oh, Liki, ko, ko, ko inoa. That's my name. And and, and then, then at the end, everybody everybody says, you know, what is your name? Your name, your name, your name, your name. You're supposed to say your name. And then um, finally he says, no, who is the, what is the, who is the, the name of the guy who you honor? Because you, whenever you start a practice, then, you know, you, have, you honor like the, 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 the head leader guy, and in, in our case is Piilani, uh, um, uh, which is the chief of this area here. So we honor him. He says, "Oh, Piilani Koeno." So he's the one that he's the one, and it's like, and you're supposed to stand tall and actually show that you know, yeah, this is the guy. That's that's who we honor. And then finally, uh, um, he asks you, uh, um, 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 "Are you are you finished?" He says, "Yeah, Ua Pao." I mean, we're all finished and we're now we're ready to start. The whole idea uh, in, in this tradition is to to warm up the, the 
body, get the going, and you know, it's like, actually it's like yoga. It's like a yoga. It's like the uh, uh, sun salutation, but it's the Hawaiian sun salutation. So we, we use that, get the body ready. It's actually a, almost like a um, Luna, Luna, Luna techniques. So it gets all, gets everybody, all the blood circulating. And then we go out and, and, and we do whatever practice. So uh, maybe tomorrow uh, or tonight, when the kumu comes, it's a lot, it's a lot better when we do it together. Cause you know he's like the, you know he he has that voice and that that you know that big power. He's only a, he's like a short little guy, <coughs> but like this tall, you know. But he's really powerful, man. So now I can now I I, I can I wanted to go over the different parts of the holly. And did you did you go over the parts? No. Okay. <coughs> so how the holly is built and why we do certain things. Okay. So the, Peter asked me this morning, why why is the, the, the you can sit down and relax, everybody. Why 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 are the posts um, uh, dark like that? It's actually burnt. And and and, and in the uh, when you build a holly because of termites. Uh, if you burn, if you burn the, uh, uh, the the tips, has less the, ter uh, the the termites and bugs won't want, don't want to uh, eat it because it's it's already dead. In fact, if you look back in history, uh, uh, um, carbon dating, for example, everything that that is uh, you know like has last thousands of years, you're actually charcoal. If you go back, you see the even pits, thousand years old, the wood. It, they last because it, it, bugs don't get it. It's just it's preserved. So we, when I after I make my cuts, I burn the top. I also actually burn the <coughs> bottom. This, this post here, basically, what you're seeing here, is something that goes down two feet, in, two or three feet down in the ground, and then I have this two feet, two feet wall here, which makes it about five feet of of of, of um, support. For, so this this uh, so this is what all these all that you see on only maybe this far down is actually going way down. So you so you can see how strong that um, that that one post is. This this post is here is is um, uh, pole which is post. Kihi means corner post, and we have four corner posts. On the corner post, we actually this is a branch. We preserve that one branch. Oh. And so that provides like a like a, a, a forty five degree brace, oh. yeah, and that that helps in the sheer strength of, of the building. Oh, okay. This is this this inside the post is called pokala. Pokala is like meaning the, the side post here. This 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 uh, um, okay. Um, the end post here is called, called Pohana. Pohana. Pohana is like that, like the main major post. And basically, this post here is not tied in anywhere. You see it? It's actually what we have here is these, the um, this um, what I call a clamp, um, ilio, or which is Hawaiian called clamp. So it's it's not traditional that you tie this post here to the collar ties or, or to these ties here. It, ha it's, um, it, it has to have the ability to sway, so to speak, in, in the wind. Actually, in the, in, if there's a big storm, this, this house, actually, um, it, wind just blows right through it and, it and there's no resistance. If the roof was a solid wall, it would create it would create like a like a sail, and instead of uh, instead of uh, um, wind passing through uh, through it, it'll it could pick up and you could actually um, lift the uh, roofs off. In fact, in the last storms that we had, none of our none of our hollies that we built that you know my teacher and I and you know the, the regular guys who know how to do it fell down. They had they had homes there where roofs were torn off and and the 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 torn apart nothing nothing happened to our holly maybe a few uh, you know wind going through but actually wind can actually pass through these leaves mm -hmm. so it, if anything it just acts as like a hip to filter um, on the top here <coughs> although, although it looks like there's there's light there's light coming through which was what which was the old tech the, the thing that people didn't like about the hollies was that the 
holidays were always too dark because you know there's no light basically. But my 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 in, uh, innovation was to put a pylon roof actually that's on the top there, so it provides a light like a skylight between the top there. There's also another uh, I, I put a piece of uh, pylon over the bed there, so uh, you know light coming through again, and of course I raised the the, the, it's raised up so you can instead of having sides you know it's open to light all the time so it's more of a natural light rather than um, having uh, um, dark all the time and it, of course it's nice having the breeze come through you can, you can feel the breeze during the hottest hottest time of the day or year here is always cool yeah and and that's what's so nice about uh, that um, these these are called oas or, or the rafters this is called the holo, which is the diagonal bracing that goes all the way up there. And, and what I've done is that in, in this particular holly, everybody you know, does their holly a little different. I did mine a little different from, from the ones that you'll see. It actually flares out to the right, this right here. I don't know if you noticed that. To give you a, a little overhang here. I got, a, I got a two foot overhang this way here. And, so, and then you have the, the, you have the bracing go up to the center there and back down and back to the other side like a web. Can you see that? Like a, like a big web going back and forth. You know, some of the strongest uh, um, uh, um, structures in the world, like the spider, you know, per, you know uh, wide I think they say the spider web. Because the spider web, how it's tied together and how it's webbed together. So I actually, I created like a big web here, a big web here, a big web here, a big web there. In your design, you also got to think about sheer strength and how things are put together to keep the shear in the building so it's not going back and forth too much. Because even even if you have too much sway like that, you have to have a little give, but you also have to have the sheer strength so that to support the weight. I made I made adjustments in my the next building. And I'll tell you about that a little later on. But for now, I just I'll, I'll concentrate on this building here. Uh, what we're doing now is, is the leaves. Each leaf is tied tied to this um, here, and, it's, and there's a there's a pattern that you start, which is a uh, skip, tie, tie, skip. You see that there's no there's no tie there. You tie, 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 skip. Actually, this 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 particular building, I actually I did it a little different. Here I have three three. In this uh, 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 is called. Uh, uh, or the uh, 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 this is like they, these are the fixed perlins. Uh, fixed meaning it's fixed to the oas here. Uh, that's uh, and these are the floating perlins. They, they don't. They're not. They're not tied into here, but they're they're just uh, um, they're actually floating in between to create the strength. But then, e as, as you can see, each one of them creates a little square. See how, you see a little square there? So that little square, uh, like hog wire, that again helps provide the strength in the whole building, in the roof, the roofing system. When you have one little square and each one is tied in this one spot, can you see how it, it, it really holds the leaves on? So that these leaves, no matter what, in the, in the, I haven't had, I don't know, I mean, I'm sure leaves have fallen off, but I, just, I don't think they need to fall off. And you can see, because of the pitch, which is 45 degrees, the rain, from there, it just comes down here, it slicks off here, and just drops down. And I made it so that the, the um, in this particular holly, it goes past the, the, the seating here, which is the uh, uh, pohaku, or papuaku, or no uh, pohaku, uh, <coughs> which is a, noa means a sitting stone wall. The Hawaiians didn't have these kind of furnishings that we have here. Uh, in fact, they this was their this was their chairs. See, and and and, and so in between the, uh, the the outer wall and inner wall, you put your walk to sit on, it, and it's actually nice and soft. So uh, this particular holly, uh, my teacher, he's like. Uh, uh, it's supposed to be a, like a honeymoon holly, you know, vacation rent honeymoon holly. So he has, uh, as his signature, 
look at this rock here. See, this, it's actually all over the place. One outside here, there's another rock like that. It's done on purpose. It's not like, it's not, oh. it's, it's not like, a, a, not yeah. like, a, you know, coincidence. coincidence. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, actually a, a phallic symbol, yeah. Oh. And, and, and because actually the Hawaiians, as a culture, didn't have television. So they actually, they, they spent a lot of time honey, honey. Uh, yeah, closing up. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The whole uh, um, and it, 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 the, the, oh. they were, you know, although they did, they did have husband and wives. It wasn't, it wasn't like uh, how we have our, 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 our traditional marriages today, where it's in one person. Actually, it's monogamy. yeah, They're not monogamy. Oh, polygamy. <clears throat> polygamy, but in polygamy, in a sense that everybody was like, if, if there was consensual, you know. Uh, 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 um, uh, agreement, it was it was okay. Right. In fact, no, no jealousy. No jealousy. Tolerant. Yeah, because the yeah, there's no jealousy, and there, and, and and although um, there is there is some some um, written documentation that uh, uh, Kaumana, which was his favorite wife, um, the Kamehameha favorite wife, she, she uh, actually was a little uh, uh, because she was like upper class, the upper. The ruling class actually intermarried with each other. They were actually oftentimes related. But um, believe it or not, as, as far as lim women live is concerned, I think the Hawaiian uh, women were the ones that actually uh, did a lot of changes into providing the lim women's live. At, at first, women could not sleep with the men. They could not eat uh, certain foods with the men. They couldn't eat with the men. But when Kamehameha died, he left his heir to his son, and his son was too young to rule at that time. I think he was like 12 or 15 years old. So until he ruled, uh, his mother, Kaumano, was uh, um, she was a matriarch. She actually did she did the one she did the uh, she started making up the rules to uh, with. I mean, if I can't eat with my son, you know. Then, then there could be trouble in the house. I mean, how can you say I'm not going to eat with my mom? You know what I mean? I mean, as, as you're a young boy, so then the rules change, and so the, the kapu was the kapu system was broken. Also, um, when when she took reign, um, the Christianity began to flourish more uh, because at that time the missionaries came in, and and then she she realizing the need for education and for. Uh, um, uh, she started breaking the kapu system, and but so as, as far as women's lives, she was like. This is so symbolically the way she broke the kapu because basically, you should explain what kapu is. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So kapu system is basically there's I didn't look that earlier. There's only like one law, which is God's law, and break the law, and the only punishment is death, essentially. Right. So that's the kapu. <coughs> so there's all these different kapus, like you know these foods are meant only with women, and these foods are sick. But, but when they when the when the foreigners came in, they started to realize that because they were so ingrained, like they think like if, if I break the kapu, then I'm gonna like get struck down by like right? Guys. But then these foreigners came in and they, they're breaking kapus left and right. Nothing's happening, right? So they start to get like like disenchanted with their kapu system. With their kapu system, they're like, oh, maybe this is the only way to live. Because I guess. I guess the kapu system is, is a caste system, yeah. you know, where th that's how the Hawaiians they they ran a caste system. Where if you, but which is actually not too bad when when you think about you know how to get things organized. You have to have you know you have to have a, uh, the carpenters, you have to have the fishermen, you have to have the farmers, you have to have the the lii, you know, the, the warriors. You have to have certain you know, groups that do that are responsible for certain things. And the thing about one of the one of the things why why I think Hawaii for a long time for years and years and years why it never uh, 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 why they didn't have one king was because I believe they they in the system here everybody was actually treated more or less equal in the kapu system if you're in a particular caste you know you're you stay in that caste if you're a fisherman that from a fisherman family, you stay in a fisherman family. If you if you thatch, you stay in a thatch. If you did lahala, you stay in the lahala. Although the, the women are the ones that did the did the lahala mats, 
and and did the uh, made the Senate. Today we don't use Senate anymore. We use we use this. Uh, Senate is the coconut rope. The coconut rope here. We, we actually we actually when we first started, we use a, a parachute cord. But we found out this is even way way better. In fact, if you if you take this cord here, look, it has what a little gift. Kind of this is a. a, a um, um, like parachute cord. Actually, they, they use it for windsurfing. They use it for uh, uh, um, uh, hang gliding. They use it for all, all kinds of things. Like I said, this is the, this is going to be the next Velcro system uh, that's going to come out. Um, no, it's nylon. But there's two there's two cores in, inside. There's the inner core, a white core, and then there's the outer core. This cord here is rated as a 650 pound test. It actually we wrap each joint here minimum of three wraps and every time you wrap it instead of it, it doubling in strength it actually multiplies in strength but the magic number here is three uh, I uh, and, and actually when you go up in rank <laughs> the higher rank you have you know the more cord you are because the stronger it is and plus it's like you know, this is a uh, this is a, a, a higher chief the chiefs are usually the ones that own the hollies most other people just slept on the beach, uh, on, the and, tree, on, the uh, on the tree on the ground, and unless the king, of course, invite them in, and then they all sleep together on the floor. They slept. The, the floors were made with this ili ili, this particular kind of gravel here, and we're going to go to the beach where they have the different gravel sizes, where you can actually you can see the difference, and and and, and they use it for they use it differently, and uh, basically this particular floor. On the bottom, I use uh, uh, cinders, uh, you know, cinders on the bottom, and then I I, I put. If you look under here, I, there's this there's this uh, um, cloth here, which is a, a, a like a weed bla barrier. It actually it actually can breathe. Felt. Yeah, it's, it, 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 if you put water there, the water just breathes. But the first, <coughs> the, the the floor actually is is graded, so it is. It, it's graded from the top there where you're sitting, and it grades down to uh, to a, a, a pipe, uh, a perforated pipe, and a drain pipe underneath the floor here, and then it's covered up with that, covered up with that 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 that's, that uh, cloth there. Then on top of that, we have um, this ilie. So we actually have about three three different layers of uh, under the under the floor there, and it's off so that every now and then I take my I take my Actually, just my uh, my my holes, and I hose I take everything out, and I hose down just like the beach. I hose it down. Everything just uh, it doesn't it stays wet for moist for a short period of time. It just hoses right down there, and it drains right down to this drain here. And then this drain here, then we have a slope it goes out there. And there's one on the inside here, one on the outside here, and actually one on that outside there. So that if there's if there if it if it drains, it just it doesn't puddle up. It just drains away from the building. Um, okay, the this these poles here, are ironwood. This um, this this is ironwood too. I, it just so happened that I uh, when I when I did mine, I did I did it all. I did I did an ironwood. Ironwood, suppose when, what what it says, ironwood. You know, um, that's what it is. So um, I use that. But in this other this other um, the new holly that you're going to see, I use actually three different type of woods, which which you are allowed to. And um, there 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 are about five different type of woods that um, that you're allowed to use to build a holly. I use more. I mean, it, basically you can use any wood you know, to build with. But certain woods have different properties and make it even stronger than others. Uh, uh, the kiabi which is called mes mesquite in other parts of the country. You know, I mean, they use it for, they use it actually for charcoal because it's so, so dense. And you'll see it in the other holly. Um, that's what I use because you can actually bury that, bury that, that, that wood in the ground, which my father did actually build his fences 50 years ago, and it still exists today. Because it, it doesn't, well, yeah, it doesn't rot. Bugs don't like it because it's so dense. This one here, but I, I also did the same thing that that I actually put 
if you look over here, this is one that's more more obvious. I actually put a coating of, of a roofing tire on it as well. So that also helps in the you know uh, preservation of the wood. But so far, and it's dry here, you know, it doesn't get wet, so that's a you know, it seems to be pulling. I mean, you know, what do you expect? I mean, you know, it's, it's holding up okay. Um, this this particular pole here, yeah, he doesn't notice, but this is actually that that this is the center pole here, right here, and this is called a pohana, and and that pole here, it actually, it, there's a lot of significance to that. That that pole there, um, when you whenever you build a holly, the old days, the Hawaii, uh, the chiefs would actually bury their favorite favorite um, rel relative yeah, under, nephew. huh? Well, oh, nephew, under under the center post, and 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 it, uh, you know, like how um, I don't know if you ever seen these movies where you have the, the woman jumping into the uh, volcano to pacify the volcano Pele, you know, like that. That was customary too. So they figure if if you sacrifice uh, the 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 um, the couple system was like uh, of uh, of um, not sacrifice of uh, of like building up, you know, like. Uh, like a pyramid, everybody helping each other so that the, so that the, uh, the community exists harmoniously together. That's why this this this, this uh, unfortunately I have my you have all the rocks all supporting that that the headstone there, which is called the Ku stone, and I, and, and I guess now is a good time to talk about it. That 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 Ku stone is again another phallic symbol. Um, if you want to go out there, I can show you. Uh, I can, uh, anyway, the, the the stone up. You see, if you count it, there's five sides of the of, the, of a stone underneath. That's that's female. That's a female portion. That's a female and male coexisting together. And and, and you have the the male uh, phallic syndrome, and in the front you have the female uh, uh, um, um, supporting the male. Supporting the male. <laughs> that, that you know that that's the way. It, you know, that's just the way it is. But you see all the rocks. All piling up together, symbol again, symbolization of the of the um, support of the community all together. And of course, they say actually one of the the uh, the, the best uh, way of uh, I guess uh, government is actually a kingdom. And if you have a benevolent king, they say one that is care for the care for the people, and uh, then usually you know, it really works. And um, Lili Okalani was the last reigning and, and reigning monarch. And and what happened is that when uh, when there was the overthrow of the Hawaiian kingdom, she didn't want any bloodshed. So she said, "No, no. Um, look, if we, do, you know, I'm not into fighting like that. We're not. We're kind of we're fast pacifists. The Hawaiians were not that that really that pacifist. They actually had their wars and stuff like that." But even in their wars, after after they they, they, they battled, they uh, at the end of the year they would stop and they have something called makahiki. All the troops, all, everybody, okay, we put down our fighting together, put our warring together. We're gonna we're gonna have fun and games. So around October, November, uh, which is called Hakamiki, uh, makahiki days, everybody just forget about your 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 tribal or wars or whatever, and we're gonna. We're gonna have peace. And we're gonna have contests. I mean, I mean, joy. I mean, you're all friends, and so you'd be surprised that one. At the end, everybody's like our arms around each other, and mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, you know, and congratulating and having a great time. And then after that, then you then you start over again. <laughs> then you go, yeah, then you go back. But you know, it's, it's it's it was never. I I I my feeling is that it was never never really serious until until actually when when. Um, Actually, Kamehameha, Kamehameha made it serious when he started using, you know, when the Vancouver and all the uh, 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 ship captains came with their guns and musket. He allied with them. Yeah, he, had, he allied with Kamehameha. And of course, you know, the Hawaiians, they don't have all that. They, they don't have the firepower. And that's how he actually took over island by island until he conquered it all and became the, the king of all the islands. I, mean, I guess so. That's good. That's a, believe it or not, the whole whole monarchy only lasted a hundred years. Well, you have in Europe monarchies lasting thousands of years. 
So all, although it was only a hundred years, that hundred years actually changed changed Hawaii the the, um, the pace of Hawaii quite a bit. And and during that hundred years, Kamehameha started uh, um, getting advice of the of uh, um, um, the Haoles or the, uh, the white the missionaries, the missionaries and, and and then they started telling them how other other kingdoms do it and then so then you have the the taxing taxation system and you know the, uh, the breaking up the land and all that kind of stuff but let me back to the holly I'm sorry to deviate because this is all this is all, this is all part of the, the the history and part of the how, how it's made okay so my holly um, th this this one here is called inkberry they're they're actually um, in fact, all of these woods here are uh, um, are um, evasive species. In, in that, there's so much of it, they actually want to get rid of it. I mean, it's okay. You can't you can't you can't get enough, which is great though. You know, which means that you don't run out of you don't run out of supplies. It's all available for you. Sustainable. It's sustainable. Yeah. If if there's weeds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like yeah. bamboo. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. All, all you all you need all you need is basically this but in the, if you, if, if, even if you don't have this you can actually weave coconut fiber to make that in fact you can make your own rope coconut fiber was the thing that actually changed the 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 shipping uh uh european, european shipping when they when, when when they went to tahiti and they found the manila you know manila ropes and then they started using it in the shipping lanes and yeah, pretty soon it, it changed it changed the uh the uh, the shape of the uh, I guess the shipping industry, but it was not stronger than any other fiber that they were using in shipping at that point. Yeah, time. but now this now this is actually up way way more and it and it's so much easier to build. I mean we have changed we don't build these we don't in in the old days you use axe and they have you know all stone things like that. Now we use chainsaws we use we use clamps we have cars we have trucks to move things around. You know, you can, we can build holly a lot quicker in the past than they did in the old days. Um, but this, except for the concrete that I use in the wall, because it's part of a, the building code now, you have to have concrete. In the old days, all the walls were stacked dry, no concrete at all. You don't see concrete. Here, you, I, I, unfortunately, I, I did use some concrete. You can see some poking through. If you're a good mason, you don't see any concrete. But, you know, I, I, I built this wall you know by myself and